Hey guys, what's going on? I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. We're gonna do an in-car setup, the protocol, the things you need to do. I'm parked. What I need you to do when you first get into the car, you always put on your seatbelt. That's the first thing I need to see you do as a state certified driving instructor. So you put on your seatbelt. Next, what I need to see you do is move your seat forward or back. I need to see a bend in your knees. A lot of beginners are too far from the steering wheel. Here's the steering wheel. This is too close to it. This is too far. I wanna be able to have my arms at a 45 angle so I can gently turn the wheel. Next, there is a lot of confusion about the steering wheel. So let's talk about this. Your steering wheel. You can have your hands at nine and three. You can have your hands at 10 and two. But AAA, which is a national organization, says that seven and five. They're a national organization in the United States. We want to use scholarly articles, peer reviewed. They say that seven and five is the best hand position, why? Because there's an airbag in the steering wheel. We are not trying to get our hands blown off or our face damaged. So it's really important that you find a system that works for you. There's a lot of confusion about the center mirror. I'm gonna keep it really simple. Here's our center mirror. I need to see you frame the rear window in the mirror. So when you're driving, I can see you looking out at the main road, I can see you looking up. When you're driving, learning, learning how to drive, I'm in the passenger seat, okay? I'm not watching you, I'm watching what the car is doing. Do yourself a favor, get this mirror properly adjusted. Let's talk about the side mirror. You're gonna see a pedestrian coming, I'm parked. Now, he's going to slowly be coming into view, see? What I need you to do is have a little bit of the car to the side. You can have the back door handle, yeah, the back of the car. I don't care, but I need to be able to see you looking and checking that area. There is a blind spot. There are four blind spots. Left side, right side. There's a blind spot in the front of the car. We can't see the curb. You can see the curb right there. And then there's one behind us. You as a beginning driver have to adjust it. Hey, let's talk about this uh, passenger side mirror. We wanna see a little bit of the side of the car and also the door handle. So let's kind of take a step back. We have our four mirrors adjusted, okay? And we wanna make sure that we can be aware of what's going on. There are three mirrors. You have your center, you have your uh, passenger and then you have your other side what I need you to do is be aware of what those mirrors are doing so you can actively see hey let's talk about our foot we want to use the ball of our foot but here is what's going on I know you can see this a lot of beginners put their foot on the side of the brake you won't be able to stop use the ball of your foot in the center I had a dancer driving yesterday. She had a very strong foot. She used the ball of her foot. She would squeeze, the car would stop suddenly. I told her, please squeeze the brake carefully. As an instructor, I don't wanna tell you to hit the brake because if I tell you to hit the brake, you're gonna slam brakes. Here's the coaching point, parents, if you're watching this or teens or adults, squeeze your brake. Never slam your brake. So we've talked about the mirrors, they're adjusted. Now, here's another common thing. Let's take a look. Up is right, down is left. As a beginning driver, guess what? You're gonna forget. This is correct. Parents, don't scream at your kids. Students, you're learning how to drive, okay? Up is right. You can do your fingers like this, down, it's left, you will forget your left and right. Here's another point. Coaches, instructors, parents, young adults learn how to drive teens. You will be nervous. It's really important that your coach supports you. It is so important that they are clear in their directions. If they're not clear, you will be confused. You will have anxiety, you will have frustration, but part of my job as a certified driving instructor is to help you understand. 
you have to be comfortable in a car. Next, what I like to do is have the air conditioning on, on low. Why? If you have the car too warm, you're going to fall asleep. So I tried to keep the car as cool as possible. It's really important that you are taking your time, that you're patient. I want to see you, if I was driving all of you right now, I want to see you driving in a parking lot, a school parking lot, a college parking lot, a shopping mall parking lot. You guys know what those are, right? So I want to see you go up and down the aisles. When you're turning, I want to see you turning hand over hand into the turn, hand over hand out. Why? You have to learn. Next tip. Look into your turns, but you guys aren't going to do this. Why? You're going to stare at the steering wheel. So if you're driving, you're going to be looking down. See, I'm looking down. Don't look down. Coaches, parents, it's normal for beginning drivers to stare at the steering wheel, to steer. It's my foot. Can I, can I feel the brake? Can I feel the gas? Don't panic. If you're a beginner, now's the time that you really start listening to what I'm saying. When you're making those right turns in the parking lot, I should see you looking to the right, just like I'm turning. When you're making a left turn, I should see you looking left. Use this camera as if, oh, there's the armor car with all the money. Use this camera as if these were your eyes. If you're making a left, I should see you looking to the left. If you're making a right, I should see you looking to the right. That's how the POV or point of view looks. It's so important that you're comfortable. Wear comfortable clothes. I have on some shorts here, have on a little comfortable shirt. Relax because you're gonna feel nervous. You're gonna feel your bladder flex a little bit. Next, wear some comfortable shoes, right? Converse, I'm not sponsored by Converse, but Converse, if you hear this, help a brother out. Converse are really good shoes because I'm a state certified driving instructor over 24 years of experience. Crocs are nice shoes. What are some other shoes I don't want you to wear? I do not want you to wear open toe sandals. Why? Your foot will slip out. I do not want you to wear, sorry Nike, I don't want you to wear those Nike slides. Why? They're very thick. You won't be able to feel the pedal. Next, I want you to do a brake check. I want you to be able to feel the brake because coaches, parents, why are you listening to me? Because I'm giving you real life valuable information. You better be listening. You want to wear a thin sole shoe that you, as a driver, can feel comfortable squeezing the brake. Remember I told you about the dancer with the really strong foot that's stronger than all of us? When she would squeeze that brake, she would just touch it and the car would just stop. I'm saying, whoa, slow down. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm a dancer, I have a real... I understand. You gotta keep track of your emotions when you're coaching someone because they're very nervous. You can look at this area, right? I had a young lady have a panic attack in this area. Why? She had to make a left turn. Left turns are the most dangerous. It took her three minutes to make a left turn. She froze, she locked up. I supported her. I was quiet. I didn't raise my voice, I didn't scream. How do you want me to help you? She paused. It was scary for me as an instructor, but I tell you the story to let you know these type of left turns, right turns, will make you panic. Now you can see, eventually, the flow, traffic volume will open up. And this is when you look at that gray vehicle and that black truck, people will eventually let you in. Hey, let's talk about the stop sign. Stop signs are not optional. They are mandatory. Let's look at this car right here. Okay, they stopped because they had to stop. What I need you to do is obey those signs. A lot of beginning drivers, little do you know, they mix up a yield sign and stop sign. I need you to stop. A stop sign is S-T-O-P. Complete stop for a minimum of three seconds. Here is the next tip. Here's what I need you to do. You need to come up to the stop line, which is usually behind the stop sign. You stop, then after you stop, you have to inch up to see traffic, 
to the left. You see me moving the camera to the left. You have to be able to look at and see cars. Beginning drivers do not judge distance and speed really well. You are getting so much value because by me being in the driver's education car, showing you the perspective, you have to be aware. Look at our field of view to my left. You can see cars, you can see the person driving. You're gonna see them look to the left. Now we're looking for a left blinker. They have a left blinker on, on this truck, but there's a larger vehicle that's gonna obstruct our view. So when this traffic lets down, the driver in this vehicle will be able to make a left turn. I think a lot of beginning drivers underestimate the time it takes to turn. Lane positioning, to learn how to drive. These videos that I'm putting together, whether they're in car, first person, GoPro view, classroom, you need to be watching these and asking questions. So the driver's still waiting. It's been perhaps about a minute and a half. If you are not a patient enough driver, you will become frustrated. You will have anxiety. We're giving a real life example and you can see the driver waiting and waiting. Now there's a gap. The person makes the turn. Let's count in our heads. They kind of stopped and then went. So next point, turn in the nearest lane. When you're driving, I just see you looking just like I'm moving the camera. These first person, third person views will help you. Guys and ladies, I love you. If this about value, follow, comment, give a thumbs up. And if you really want to learn how to drive, you're going to subscribe. You're going to look at my content. We have some great things coming. I want to say thank you and subscribe to the channel. Bye.